That's a bit wrong, sorry. There we go, better. We can all, everyone can fake a smile. We've all faked a smile every once in a while. Even now, I'm faking this smile because I'm scared. I'm scared of being here, I'm scared of talking to everyone. For some, the smile is like makeup. You put it on whenever you think it's necessary, and you take it off. It's quite simple, isn't it? For others, that smile becomes a mask, a mask they wear every day, every time they leave the room, every time they're not alone. They've, if you wear this mask, you feel naked if you don't wear it. Life becomes jaded and meaningless for these people. You become... We all swim in the same water, but for those people, that mask becomes weight around their ankles. Some manage to stay afloat, while some fall to the bottom. I wore those weights. I wore that mask. Two years ago, I wanted to commit suicide. Few people knew of this before today. Very few. I almost went through with it too, just like the 800,000 that, that do the same every year. 16 million try. That's one in every 500. I wouldn't say I fought for it. I would barely say I survived it. I know I'm here, but still. I just came to terms with the world I lived in. Nothing will change if I, if I commit suicide. So why shouldn't I stay alive? I, f I won't stand or, well, sit here and preach about the world everyone here has lived through. None of you knew my story, just like I know none of yours. I know none of the multitude of experiences you've all been through, just like none of you will ever know what I've been through. I will never be able to understand it. Even as a society, we still struggle to understand how we go, what these people, what people with depression, suicidal thoughts, and such things go through every single day. Even as a, even media have trouble portraying it properly. We've all probably seen or at least heard of the Netflix show 13 Reasons Why. How many have seen it or heard of it? A good portion. Uh, 13 Reasons Why tells the story of the fictional character Hannah Baker, who committed suicide shortly before the start of the series. Before her death, she recorded 13 tapes directed towards people she believed helped contribute to her eventual suicide. The series itself follows Clay Jensen, Hannah's unrequited love, and actually all that great guy who isn't actually guilty of doing any harm to Hannah, but was made to think so. We follow Clay into his quick descent as he hopelessly tries to carve out, carve out some hopeless form of vigilante justice. Uh, seeing as naive are Hannah's parents or the student counselor of the high school uh, were actually able to help Hannah before her eventual death. This actually shows a perfectly normal reaction to suicide and that you can't get help when having suicidal thoughts and illustrates that even simple things such as bullying can actually lead to having suicidal thoughts and tendencies. Well, actually not at all. It portrays it in the worst way you could possibly do it. It would be true the way they portrayed it if you were to look away from the tremendous amount of majority of cases where the previously mentioned points are not the actual circumstances. In truth, 13 Reasons Why is romanticizing and stylizing every part of Anna Baker's suicide. Where the hell am I? Oh, right. It depicts depression as something simple, something that can easily be solved that just only a crush was to like her too. All it does is give it a posy, make pretend self sense of importance. The show and pr the producers claim that a show and handle the topic of suicide professionally, while in reality they fail at a basic level. To show the true depth of the human psychology, it gets a multitude of things wrong, 
when it comes to depicting suicide. Things that you shouldn't get wrong unless you're wishing for the worst outcomes. Copycat suicides, spikes in suicide searches on Google, just spikes in suicide. It's not what you want. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention have an online guide on how to portray suicide in media where 13 reasons why I get a staggering number of them wrong. Don't explicitly describe or show the suicide met and method as it increases the chances of, of copycat suicides. We see, ha they sh in the show, we see Hannah Baker turn on the faucet, fill the bathtub and slit her wrists. Avoid including photos of grieving families, friends, and memorials. The entire series we follow Clay being sad about Hannah's death. All the shots that Hannah's family is in, they're grieving about her suicide. And her memorial was even turned into a locker in the series. Avo Avoid description of suicide note. The entire series is about her suicide note. The entire series is based around it. Media should include that mental disorders and or substance abuse have been found in 90% of the <coughs> have been found in 90% of the people that have died by suicide that have committed suicide. Media should avoid reporting that single that suicide was preceded by a single event such as bullying, being fired from your job, your girlfriend or boyfriend breaking up with you. It leaves the public with an overly simplistic and all-out misunderstanding on how suicide works. In case you actually have any doubts about the validity of these guidelines, here's a list of... I'm too far ahead, aren't I? This thing is, doesn't like me. Here's a list of institutions that support the publication of these guidelines. Uh, for show with suicide at its core, you would expect them to have done a better portrayal of the complex situation people are in when they're struggling with depression, suicidal thoughts and tendencies. The writer of the show suggests that getting help is futile, but Hannah's inability to get help from a counsellor, her peers or her own family and presents it as if Hannah didn't have any other option. Not once do we see anyone helping or treating Hannah, thereby making the audience believe she has to go through this on her own. Adding to this, the idea that all Hannah needed was a sweet guy like Clay Jensen to fall in love with her is reductive. And the show implies that she can only finally be understood in her death. In conclusion, 13 Reasons Why is an aesthetically pleasing, uncomplicated high school drama that follows the story of how a girl uses her own suicide to get revenge on the people she blames for it. And through this, she becomes vindicated, almost portraying suicide as a weapon. This, at the core of it, is an extremely bad agenda to push, a potentially harmful message to that demographic of young, impressionable high school students. It never delves into how horrifying the dark mind state of depression is, and how it can truly affect an individual on a psychological level. It provides no help to those struggling with mental health. Don't get me wrong, I want these topics to be discussed, but in the right way. We need to understand how serious and nuanced these topics are, and how they must be handled with maturity. But what this show does is, it ultimately takes something that should be mature and frames it in a simplistic black and white way. Now, the qu important question... Someone, please? That's a no? Okay. The important question is, what do I want you to take away from this? Suicide isn't impulsive. It shouldn't be glorified. It's never sudden. It never is. There are always signs. Selling things that are important to you, or to the person. Irregular sleep patterns, 
mood swings, talking about death or fascinated by death, becoming withdrawn from friends and family. The signs are there. Look for them. Ask for help. Doesn't matter who or where. There will always be people, people willing to listen. Trust me. I know how hard it can seem. How hard it is to believe someone will listen. I thought the same. <laughs>